The Fairlight audio page is packed with powerful new features including ADR tools, support for sound libraries, video and audio scrollers, clip normalization, and over a dozen native audio plugins and more. When you switch to the Fairlight page, you'll see the audio editing timeline. At the top of the screen are buttons that you can use to turn different parts of the interface on and off. The monitoring panel lets you see all of your project's audio, along with your video from the edit page. You can also display the mixer and the inspector, and over on the left side are the new ADR tools, the effects library, the index, the new sound library, and the media pool. The inspector displays specific controls for the selected clip. These include volume and new pitch controls, which can be adjusted up to 24 semitones higher or lower than the original sound. And a four band parametric EQ for boosting and cutting frequencies. If you have a plugin applied, its controls will appear here too. Double clicking the header will show or hide the controls. The mixer displays a channel strip for every track plus real time EQ with a six band parametric equalizer. Real 3D panning to position sounds in 2D or 3D space depending on your track format. And independent dynamics processing with an expander, gate, compressor, and limiter built into every track. No additional hardware, plugins, or patching required. At the top left, the media pool displays all of the media and timelines in your project. DaVinci Resolve 15 includes a new source viewer. Simply click any item to preview its audio. You can change the zoom level using the menu at the top left, or mark your in and out points with the buttons in the bottom right. When you drag a clip into the timeline, DaVinci Resolve 15 now automatically creates a new track with the same number of channels as the source. The new sound library lets you connect to and search your sound libraries. Here, I'll search for drone sounds across two different libraries I have on my computer, right from within DaVinci Resolve 15. Click a file in the list to play it. and select a track to audition the clip in the timeline. Your primary workspace is the timeline. Here you can record, edit, and arrange your audio clips. The ruler at the top of the timeline shows the time code and can be changed to show subframes, film feet and frames, or even samples. The timeline menu features a new scrolling timeline that keeps the playhead in a fixed position while the timeline scrolls beneath it, so you always know what's coming next. That's fantastic when you're using the new Fairlight consoles. DaVinci Resolve 15 also lets you display a miniaturized video track above the audio tracks on the Fairlight page. There are also new video and audio scrollers. These display a scrolling film strip of your video and audio waveform at the bottom of the screen. The scrollers make it easy to sync sound effects because you can see the frames and waveforms together. Simply drag the scroller or double click any frame in the film strip to move the playhead to that frame. You can select, drag, and trim clips in the timeline. As you do, you'll see a new semi-transparent waveform, which makes it easy to make edits and line Radio things up. But... DaVinci Resolve 15 now lets you work with audio in a unique layer mode. You can stack and overlap clips within a track and create crossfades using the fade handles on every clip. When using layers, you only hear the top clip in the stack. To edit waveforms, you can zoom all the way down to the sample level. Here you can edit the individual samples or even redraw the waveform. DaVinci Resolve 15 adds an incredible new ADR tool for automatic dialogue replacement. The setup panel lets you customize the session. In the record and playback setting options, you can set the pre-roll and post-roll, select your record and guide tracks, and name the new file you'll record. Let's see how this works. In the character setup area, I'll click to add a new character. And at the bottom of the setup panel, you'll find the audio visual options to cue the talent, including beep, count in, and video streamer. The list button lets you set up your cues. Simply mark in and out points in the timeline, then click new cue to create them. You can also use the options menu to import a cue list from a CSV file. 
Once you're ready to record, go to the Record panel and select your cues. Click here to rehearse. Ada, identify the person I'm speaking with. Philip Maida. Then record as many takes as you need. DaVinci Resolve 15 now draws the waveform as you record, so you can always tell when you're recording. Rate your favorites. Show audio track layers to see your takes. And mark your cues done as you go. You can use the volume curves in the timeline to balance overall clip levels. For more precise adjustments, you can option click to add keyframes, or record your fader movements using the automation controls. DaVinci Resolve 15 features new peak normalization, which can be applied right in the timeline. Normalization is incredibly important as it lets you set and adjust the relative loudness of clips in your project. Another new feature is the ability to copy and paste attributes. For example, to apply the same levels, EQ, or plugins to other clips, I can copy and paste the selected attributes. Or I can reset levels and remove effects or EQ with the Remove Attributes command. The effects library includes a complete set of essential plugins called Fairlight effects that can be used to repair, shape, and enhance your tracks. For audio repair, there's a dehummer that can instantly remove power line hum or other focus frequency background noises. In this scene, I need to remove power line hum that's been recorded into a shot by mistake. All I need to do is drag the plugin to the clip and adjust the frequency to 60 Hz in this case, or click the 60 Hz option then dial the amount until it's removed along with the harmonics. The red switch turns the effect off and on. My black core came out a few days ago. The next clip has unwanted background noise. What's the current date and time? This can be cleaned up using the noise reduction plugin and adjust manually using the learn mode to generate a noise profile shown in purple on the graph. Then adjust the dry wet mix between the original and processed Data. sound. What's the current date and time? Or use auto speech mode designed to apply dialogue extraction to the signal. Ada, what's the current date and time? Now let's listen to the clip before and after noise reduction. Ada, what's the current date and time? There's also a powerful stereo width plugin that lets you adjust the stereo spread from mono to stereo to super wide or anywhere in between. Here, I'll set the A button to a clean mono signal and B to super wide with about 50% diffusion and sparkle. You can click between the A and B buttons to compare them. For EQ and dynamics, Resolve includes a de -esser. This is a specialized EQ and compressor that uses a narrow frequency range to control sibilance. Identify the person I'm speaking Just with. sweep the bell curve to find the frequency you want to reduce the person I'm speaking with. and adjust the amount as needed. Ada, identify the person I'm speaking with. You can really hear a whistle in the sibilance without the de -esser. Ada, identify the person I'm speaking with. And now listen with the plugin turned on. Ada, identify the person I'm speaking with. For more targeted vocal sweetening, there's also a vocal I channel plugin with an independent high pass filter, equalizer, and compressor. When it comes time for creative sound design, the chorus, flanger, and modulation plugins use a built in low frequency oscillator, LFO, to manipulate sound. Here, I can use the Chorus plugin to create natural sounding reflections on Foley sound effects. To create dramatic atmospheric sound effects like wind and rain, you can use the Flanger plugin, which mixes an identical copy of the signal while moving it back and forth, with modulation constantly changing the amount of delay. To create original sound effects, the modulation plugin lets you adjust the frequency, modulator, filter, and tone. The amplitude and rotation between speakers and even the modulator shape. To add depth and dimension to your tracks, 
You can use the new time-based delay effects, which include delay, echo, and reverb. These are really important because they help you seamlessly blend Foley effects or ADR tracks that are recorded on a soundstage with the rest of your audio. In this scene, we have a character enclosed in a small space. We'll use the stereo reverb effect to control and design sound reverberant and reflection, so it sounds like she's in a space pod. You can drag to change the room size. This is her voice in a large space. And here it is in a much more confined space. Use the dry wet knob to control the mix between the original signal and the affected output, or adjust the effect parameters in list view in the inspector. If multiple tracks need the same effect, you can save processing by routing them to an auxiliary bus. Here, we'll create an aux bus with reverb for the dialog and computer voiceover tracks. Double-click the auxiliary send bar to control how much of the track signal is sent to the auxiliary bus. Then use the bus fader to control how much of the effect is applied to the hey, tracks. You are in orbit of planet Q-465B. Fairlight's powerful busing architecture lets you create multiple auxiliary, submix, and main buses. Here's a submix for the medical lab scenes that includes two sound effects, a heart monitor and a respirator. Creating a submix lets me use one fader to control the levels for both tracks. I can ride the levels on the fly or add automation. Automation is the process of recording adjustments over time. Once you open the automation controls, you can select which controls you want to automate and the touch mode. In this example, I'll automate the fader for the med lab effects. Controls turn red when they're in write mode for automation, and green when automation has been recorded. Close the automation controls to globally override all automation in the timeline. If you have tracks that are loaded with processor-heavy effects and automation, you can use the new bounce feature to send them to a new track with all the processing applied. Just solo the tracks you want to bounce and choose Bounce Mix to Track from the Timeline menu. You can also use Bounce to create stems, or render a mix in the Deliver page. And if you're working with mono stems created in Resolve or imported from another application, you can manually pan them to the proper surround channel, or link them as a group to automatically map them to the correct surround channel with single fader control. When your project is finished, the loudness meters can be used to make sure that your project meets the delivery standards. As you can see, the professional audio post-production tools in DaVinci Resolve 15 are now more powerful than ever. Best of all, these Fairlight audio tools and features are available in the free version of DaVinci Resolve 15. Now that you've seen how you can use Resolve's Fairlight page, we hope you'll go to blackmagicdesign.com to learn more and download your free copy today.